Hey guys, hey jabronis. I stumbled upon something online and I thought to myself, I can't spare any time. I have to show these people what I found. The Law Sardina. So I'm like, I'm kind of like the uh, the family bartender whenever we have a cookout or, uh, or we go camping or whatever. I go on YouTube and I learn about like some drinks and whatever. And I just start cranking out Mai Tais and uh, you know, mules and whatever, the, whatever the people want. So, the other day I'm making, uh, some blueberry mules, and I think to myself, why don't I try and get sardines into the mix somehow? So I start Googling, and I find this, this, uh, recipe on Thrillist. I don't know what Thrillist is, but they have this, this fish gin recipe. This glass is, it's a, it's specifically a gin martini glass. I think it's called a coupe. I've got this nice... Uh, early, you know, ro what is this, like a roaring 20s type of, type of jewelry. Little, uh, bezeled, is it bezeled or is it bejeweled? That's the word I'm looking for. Bejeweled nails, a perfect peel on the tin, and then just some discarded table deans. It's a very aesthetic photo. I think I'm gonna actually set that as my wallpaper later. Let's find out how... Deans are incorporated. I'm gonna assume it's oil related. You either love sardines or you hate them. We fall into the former camp and can't get enough of the briny fish. Even the oil gets put to use in our take on the dirty martini. We fat wash gin with the omega-3 packed sardine oil, stir it with dry vermouth and olive brine and garnish with the salty masterpiece, buttery sardine stuffed uh, olives. It's wonderfully savory, soothingly silky, and everything fans of the classic olive-soaked cocktail could ever want. So it's just a gin martini with fat-washed gin. I think we can do it. I think I'm gonna nail this. Yeah, I think I got this under control. This shouldn't be too hard. Wait a minute. Is this one? Oh, I got one right here. I'll just try this one and I'll, you know, maybe I'll make it another day. Maybe now is a good time to mention, I don't like gin. I don't like it at all. I've only ever had it one other time. I had a roommate. He said, hi, let's make gin and tonics. Oh my god, it's so, it's so salty. He ran out, he got a bottle of Tanqueray. Oh. And he, uh, he made a couple gin and tonics, and he, and he handed me one, and, and he had one, and we took a sip at the same time. We, we, we looked at each other in the eyes, and we said, I, I do, do not, not like this. this. And that's, that's kind of how, how gin has just been in my life since then. I thought maybe, you know, that was like 10 years ago. I thought maybe I would be different now. Sardine stuffed olives. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't like this. I don't like gin whatsoever. It's very gross. Oh my god, dude, these flavors are too much. I think the olive. Um, pretty much ruins it. It's the olive brine is so 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 salty. And then the oil is pretty salty. It's a salty mess. I feel like I'm drinking a glass of seawater. Dude, honestly, if you drank this, you would be absolutely sick. This is a joke. I'm starting to realize that this is an absolute joke. And that's why this article is the only place in the world where you're going to find the La Sardina. I don't think this exists anywhere else on earth. I think if I Google this, I'm gonna get something related to like, isn't it a city or a country or something, Sardinia? Second largest island in the Mediterranean Sea after Sicily. I don't think anyone in their right mind would enjoy this. I think this is one of those articles. Did it come out on the 1st of April? No. I think this is one of those articles you write if you're a writer for the Thrillist and you're like, I'm so out of content. I don't know what to write about. Maybe you stumble upon this image of a 
drink next to some sardines on like Reddit or 4chan or something, and you think, you know what, I'm gonna pretend like this is a drink. I'm just gonna come up with it off the cuff. I won't even really try it. You know, I'll even make a second article about sardine oil washing your gin, just to really drive home the deception. And uh, I'm not gonna try it. I'm just gonna write some fake information. That's why the instructions are so simple. Because usually these days you read an, you read an ingredients and instructions for something, and it's like 40 pages of ads, you know? But they're smart here. They're like, look, there's nothing here. There's no content. I got nothing to say. I'm just pretending here. I'm just trying to reach my articles per week number. And uh, you know what? I cranked one out about some fake, some fake drink. Contributed by Supercall. Let's find out who Supercall is. I think you're a friggin' a big liar, Supercall. It's like a, it's like a drink website. Let's search sardine. There it is, the one drink. <laughs> On super call to the thrillist. It's all it all comes full circle. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I'm, I wanted to do a, just a quick one. Uh, holy crap! Uh, don't make this. Do not, do not do it. It's not worth the time. I spent like four hours making this thing because I kept doing it wrong. <laughs> I kept having to try over again. Oh, it's. <laughs> it's no good. Don't don't do it. Oh, it's so bad. I look. I'm a person with a very strong stomach. I'll try anything. I'll uh, I'll try anything five times. That's my motto. Uh, in this case, however, I I will not take another sip. And I uh, I sincerely hope that you also do not take a sip. Um. All right. Take it easy. I think I just heard my doorbell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>